Hey guys, right here at the range today. Check out this bad boy. Look at it. Just look at it. A tiny little prism up there. That's the Swamp Fox Raider 1X micro prism. Let's put some rounds down range. I've got it mounted up here on my Live Free Armory builder set. The tungsten flag on there. Sweet as can be. Gonna be shooting at the infinity targets down there. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. You know, I, I, I gotta have the validation, so just hit the like button, please. If you think I've earned it, hit that subscribe button. Make sure if you do that, that you also hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I put out a new video. Leave a comment down below what you think of the Swamp Fox Raider. Let's get back to the video. So there's the range portion of the video. Let's go over some of the specs. Now the MSRP on this is going to be $279. I'm sure you're going to be paying $279 for it right out of the gate, but Swamp Fox always has sales. I wouldn't be surprised if this shows up, you know, 4th of July with a sale on it. Wouldn't surprise me one single bit. I can't tell you that it's going to happen. I don't know, but it wouldn't surprise me that this ends up on sale. Now it is a 1X scope. You've got 20 millimeter objective lens on it. You've got your diopter back here to adjust it so that you have a nice sharp reticle in there. It's got 10 illumination settings. The lowest two are night vision compatible. It is shake awake, so if you set it down, I believe it's four minutes, it'll go to sleep. Pick it back up, it's ready to go. You do have one 2032 battery in there for 20,000 hours of runtime. It is a universal T2 footprint. It comes with the 1.1 and 1.6 risers. There will be a 1.93 coming out. And it does come with the kill flash and the lens covers over here on the side. And the nice thing about these lens covers is they snap on right over your battery and into each other. And I believe the kill flash snaps right into there too. And you can get it with the red or green reticle. I got the green, I like having the green anymore on anything it is easier for me to pick up than the red and it's definitely easier during the daytime and the nice thing about a prism is you always have that reticle it's etched on the glass even if your battery's dead you still have a reticle now it does come with the bullet rise compensating reticle which is proprietary to swamp fox i gotta admit i was a little stumped by it to begin with but once you get into it and you start using it a little bit it's really well thought out i'm going to throw a picture in here so you got a nice clear look at the reticle i can never get it good enough with the camera to take a picture or video of it it always ends up looking fuzzy i know some people can do it i can't so 
Let's take a look at that picture and you can see that it has two dots on it. The bottom dot is your five yard hold. The top dot is your 10 yard hold. The bottom of the arrow is your 15 yard hold. And the very top of that point is your 50 and 200 yard holds. So anything in between the 50, 200 and the 15 is going to be somewhere along that line on the arrow. I've been told they also have a 6 MOA dot in production. I would imagine that's still going to be a prism since it's going to be on the radar. Not sure how that 6 MOA dot is going to work out. So there is the Swamp Fox Raider. This thing is probably in my top two right now for all rifle optics. I'm not lying. I want to thank those guys for sending it out, but I'm, I'm not lying to you. This is a fantastic option. Having that reticle all the time. Definitely go check these out.